Hi guys, this is Clara Hudson of Wall Day Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a five stitch RPC. And if you take a look at my work here, this is just a stitch where two knit stitches are going to be crossing over the right side of three other stitches, which will be a purl stitch and two more knit stitches. So I'm going to show you how to create this cable without using cable needles. So if we take a look at my work here, I'm going to go ahead and purl over to where I'm going to be placing my first cable. And I have those marked with stitch markers on this swatch. And if you look, we have five stitches between them. And as I said, in this cable, we have two knit stitches on the right side, two knit stitches on the left side, and then between the two sets is one purl stitch. So when we work this cable, we're going to be continuing with that knit two, purl one, knit two in our work. So I'm going to remove that first stitch marker. Now to work this cable without a cable needle, we're just going to be using our working needles that we're working our pattern with. And you want to make sure to have fairly sharp tips when working cables without a cable needle. It's just going to make it easy to slide the stitches from left to right of your needle tips. So since this is a right leaning cable, these last two knit stitches will be leaning to the right side of the first three. But in order to work those correctly, we need this middle purl stitch on the right side of the first two knit stitches. And that might may sound a little confusing at first, but we're just going to put this third stitch over behind in front of the first two knit stitches. And to do that without a cable needle, we're just simply going to pick that purl stitch up with our right hand needle. We're gonna pinch those first two knit stitches and pull all of them off of our left hand needle and then quickly pick up those first two knit stitches. Now we'll rotate our work and place that purl stitch at the beginning of the needle. So now we have rearranged our first three stitches to be a purl one and knit two. Now remember we want our last two stitches of this cable to be at the beginning of the five stitches. So we're going to take our right hand needle again and insert those into those last two stitches, just like so, purl wise, not picking up anything else. And then we're going to pinch these first three stitches very carefully, pull out all the stitches and then hurry up and scoop up those three stitches and then rotate our work. And now we have those last two stitches at the beginning of our left, left hand needle. So if you look here, we've rotated all of our stitches and have them reorganized to be knit two, purl one, knit two. So now all we have to do is simply knit off of our left hand needle. So knit two, it's a little tight here, purl one, knit two. So essentially all we've done is just reorganized our stitches the same way we would have with a cable needle, but we didn't use a cable needle to do so. And that is our right leaning five stitch purl cable. So I'm going to show that to you guys one more time. I'm going to work over to my second set of stitch markers. Okay remove my stitch marker. Here's our five stitches that we're going to be cabling. And we're going to pick up that middle purl stitch, pinch our knit stitches, pull them all out and scoop up the two knit stitches, rotate around, place our purl stitch back on our needle. Now we need to grab the last two with our right hand needle. So pick those up, pinch the first three, pull everything out, come around the back and pick up those three that we pinched. There we go. And now we'll rotate our work and place those two stitches back on our left hand needle. So we have resituated them on our needle. Now we simply need to work them. Knit two, purl one, knit two. Okay. So we've created the five stitch RPC or right purl cable without using cable needles. So I hope this technique helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.